Hey, this is Russ Edgar, Avion Overlander. I want to show you uh, something that we've done to improve the Avion today. Uh, actually, to improve the Avion refrigerator. It's approximately 40 years old. Uh, I'm standing right in front of it. I'll move over so you can see me in such a way that you can see the refrigerator directly behind me. I'm going to pan up just a little bit. There we go. And you'll see there's a nice looking cabinet door up there. That cabinet door is, in, is a cabinet to hold that actually is empty. It has nothing in it but my device that I made and hot air. Now the hot air is the key. In a refrigerator system that's in most uh, avions at least and airstreams or the old ones, is an, is an ammonia system that the ammonia heats up and it cools the refrigerator as it flows through the pipes that are there. Now, when the manufacturers made these to save expense, they made it so it was a natural uh, flowing of hot air out through the top of the vehicle. That doesn't always work most of the time, especially if you're out west or you're someplace or down south where it's very hot. Uh, you go to your refrigerator, get your ice cream some night, and you have got cream, not ice cream. It is all melted. So what you can do, you can in make the efficiency of your refrigerator much greater, but doing what I am going to recommend that you do. I haven't... Uh, enabled a system, built a system, very easy to do, inside this cabinet that, de that takes the heat from the refrigerator and it exhausts it. Now, my exhaust is on the top of my refrigerator. It is uh, under a shroud that I placed up there. Uh, it's rainproof, even big storms, no, nothing like that. It has two openings on it where the heat will rise and flow out into space, into the outer outdoors, and it cools the refrigerator. That doesn't always work sometimes. So what I'm going to show you now is how I, and well, actually many other people, you can buy this if you've got the bucks, a system like this, they'll be happy to sell it to you, but a homemade one works great. I wanted to show you three items that we'll need for this project. Uh, that they're not everyday items unless you search for them just a little bit. This is a thermostat. I bought it from China. It cost me about four or five bucks uh, delivered to my home. Uh, it works really well. Now this one is obviously not the one that's installed, but the one installed is an exact copy of this. So I'll use this one since I haven't installed this one to show you what happens. In the red box there, you see there are five switches, uh, maybe six. And those switches move up and down, on or off. And uh, whenever you set them in a certain position, they give you a degree centigrade. Now, I have mine set on 76, 77 degrees, actually, degrees Fahrenheit. I had to uh, check on the computer to well, see what 77 was and then set this to centigrade to get the same result. If you look on the far side, the top, where you'll see on the picture, you'll see four screws. Well, actually there's five screws. Those screws are where the electric comes in from your source, which would be batteries, and it goes out. And in our case, it's going to some fans. Four of them actually, and I'll show you in just a minute. Those four fans cool the refrigerators at the top, the hot that's coming up. This is a very simple device, very easy to work on. Nothing, actually, once you did it, nothing to do. Uh, it has a little red light there that glows so you know it's alive. Now I'm going to move to the next item. Uh, I'll actually move this one out of our way a little bit. Next one, you've seen this one before when I showed the inside the refrigerator. This is a device, it is a computer device that lets you attach fans without modifying them, just using their normal fan cable, computer fans, 
and you could don't have to modify them, cut them off, redo them, or anything. They plug in here, and eight of them will plug in. If you look on the right side of your screen, you'll see an item there, or a portion of it, that has six pins sticking up. Those six pins sticking up are for electricity. And the electricity is, and I'm going to show you how to get that to, you get that electricity, once it gets there, and you adjust that blue uh, slotted uh, piece of plastic, that increases or decreases the fan speed. I have it cranked up pretty high. Uh, I don't want it to run slow. I want it to run fast, and I want it to suck air out of where it is. Well, to make all this work, you have this item, and you've seen this before if you looked at another video of mine. This is a computer design. It's an, used inside of a computer, actually, if you need an extension cord inside the computer. This comes in a two-pack, and I have modified this one. Uh, this end, I'll pick it up. If you can get it right. This end plugs into this device. And it plugs in right there. Once you do that, you plug the other end, this end, into the thermostat. So what happens, and I'll make a little chain here so you can see it, it would be set like this. This would be plugged in here, follow it around to the thermostat, and then these two ends would be plugged into the thermostat. On this piece, on this cable, and it is uh, a computer cable that's been cut off, the orange one is hot. So I would hook that to this. And then the white one is neutral or ground. And I would hook in into here. So what happens is if electric is coming up from your battery, in my case it is truly up, it will come to the thermostat. The thermostat will say, oh, we need to turn on the fans. It'll click on, not really, since it's digital. And it will send electric up this cable. And that electric will go into those pins right there. And if you have fans attached to those, to the other pins, and they're four pins, not six pins, you can have up to eight of them. I have four. It will turn the fans on. So it's a very uh, no-brainer system. All you got to do is plug it in and plug in the fans and plug in that. The only thing with any problem is cutting off the end and figuring out what is should be positive and negative. There's many places online you can figure that out. Or I can actually, if you want to do a comment, I can do a comment below and show you, tell you how to do it. I can't come to your house and do it for you. But this is the three items that we need for the project we're doing today. Okay, I'm back. Now we're gonna raise this door and you can see inside this free space, not much in here, that I have four computer fans that are mounted underneath that shroud that exhausts the air. Now the fans are off today because today I'm showing it to you it's fairly cold, and it is way below 77 degrees. So if you see, there's four fans up there. They're off, but they could be on if... And I'll pan down. This, and you just saw a close-up of it, this device turned it on. You can see the same device in my hand that I showed, or I showed you earlier. Now, if you look carefully, you can see that the fans are hooked up. There's this device that holds the four fans. There you see the cord that I have uh, talked about that uh, gets you so you can get electric to everything. Now, I, all I did was simply use the green cable, 
this actually was a cable, not a very good one. Uh, it's a 14 gauge, but uh, it only had two wires in it instead of three. So I got used it uh, to uh, make this and many other things. It was just a cheap way to get good twisted wire. If you see carefully, I have taped it so it doesn't fall down off of there. If you see here, this is the top of the refrigerator. This is the empty space behind the refrigerator, right here. There are some coils there, and you can see them if you look carefully, that the refrigerator air moves up through and is supposed to cool those coils and take the air away. Now, there are some other things in here that are uh, non-essential, has nothing to do with the, the video that I'm making here. The white cable and the gray cable laying here are simply to meters. I'll swing around so you can see them. Or I'll step down so you can really see them. That are mounted on the outside of the refrigerator panel. They have nothing to do with the what I'm talking about, but you need to remember think about they're just in the way of your thinking probably the black cable you see back here has nothing to do with the fans it is simply the solar that's coming in from the top of the trailer but the fans are the important thing now they're very easy to do you know me I love zip ties so there has a or has a aluminum piece here an L channel on this top and on the bottom and into that piece of channel they are zip tied it's a very easy thing to do uh, then that whole panel and they're a unit then once you get them all zip tied those four in there they're pretty solid so i was lucky on the outside of the pan or actually on the underside of the actual body of the trailer there is a screen to keep mice, birds, bugs, wasps, everything out, O-U-T. But zip ties slide right through them. So I was able to zip tie this whole structure that I'm pointing to, to that. It has zip ties on this corner, this corner, all four corners. It is just as solid as it can be. It has no uh, stress on it other than gravity trying to pull on it a little bit. It is sucking air out. The air is going out through these things. Uh, they've got little arrows on them. It shows you which way to mount them. The is sucking the air out from behind the refrigerator and blowing it out through the vent. That cools the back of the refrigerator a lot. So that's the whole purpose of this thing is to cool your refrigerator so that it is more efficient and is easier to make the freezer work better and the refrigerator portion of it to work better. Okay, I've gone outside. I'm going to remove the protective cover on the back of the refrigerator, set it aside. And as you can see, and you've seen this before if you saw the other video, you see my uh, electrical hookups. You know that, and I'll hold them here, this is the main hot and cold wires coming in from the battery. So what I did, and I was pan over here a little bit, this is my famous green wire that runs down from the fans. It comes down, slides over, and hooks into the electric here. Those fans are controlled at the top with a thermostat, so this green line is to my, or to your uh, left, my left also, I guess, uh, is simply carrying, and it's hot all the time. The thermostat at the top is what breaks it and keeps it, uh, the fans on or the fans off. I'll move my hand around. This is the, the hot main. If I unscrew this, I shut the fans up at the top, I shut the fans that are inside the refrigerator off, and I shut the refrigerator off. Actually, if you've seen the other video about the TV, the TV is connected to this also because this was my best and most powerful 12 volt uh, place to hook those items onto. 
Well, I think that pretty well covers it today. Uh, as unlike the refrigerator video that I made, I cannot pull these out very easily. They're pretty much permanent if you call zip ties permanent. Uh, I think that pretty much covers it today. I really appreciate you being with me. Uh, if you could subscribe, it would help our channel out a great deal. Uh, be safe out there.